guys. Well, I'm at the gym. About to get in my other workout. Like As I promised, my other uh, alternating full body workout is coming up now. So uh, I'm going to lead it off with some squats. I'm going to walk you guys through it like I did that last uh, video that I did. And let's have fun with it. Let's go. Hey guys, so what we have here, uh, it, I'm going to have a couple little warm-up sets. One with an empty bar and one with a couple plates on on, uh, on either side. And this is just to kind of get some flexibility, mobility, get the joints warmed up and get them ready to put under heavy uh, heavy duress. And you know, it's always a good idea to do some warm-up sets and some stretches before, especially before big compound movements to make sure all your joints and muscles and everything like that are ready to handle the, handle the strain. But what we got coming up uh, after this, after these last couple of reps of this warm-up set here, is uh, I've loaded up the bar with my one rep max, and what I'm going to do usually is about eight to ten sets of one rep a piece, and I'm going to maintain it this weight until I can get you know that that same amount of sets with two reps a piece. Now, if you'll notice on that last rep, my hips are shot out a little bit, so I'm definitely taxed on my legs. Next up is. Uh, my incline bench and uh, another compound movement uh, I usually try to stick with decline and incline bench press because um, what I found is my flat bench is really lacking in strength and not developing good so you know things that I've read and things that I've studied show that that usually means that there's a lack of you know different support fibers my upper and lower pecs and my shoulders so I utilize uh, some different angles on my bench press so I can you know I try to increase increase the flat bench down the road um, but usually whenever I do my incline bench, I'm going to try to do five to six sets, uh, five to six reps a piece until, you know, until I can essentially double that up to those five or six reps or uh, up to those five or six sets. And then I'm going to increase the, increase the weight, drop back down to five to six reps per set. Uh, next up is my bent over row. You know, this one's kind of self-explanatory. It, it's, you know, like the, it, it uses the same muscles as the cable row that I did in my other workout. Um, but this is another one of those compound movements that, that's important to knock out in the beginning of your of each one of your workouts. Uh, next up is my, cable, my high cable fly. And this is one, uh, you know, I showed before, my low cable fly. This one's a high cable fly. It works the interior the inside of your pec muscles uh, at the upper region. You know, like I said, I try to focus on my upper and lower and trying to build a, a better balanced, uh, a better balanced uh, chest. Uh, you know, from from top to bottom, in order to increase overall strength and overall just balanced muscle development. Um, you know, one thing that you notice here is, especially on those last few reps, you'll notice my arms kind of start bending a little bit, and that's usually a sign that I'm trying to, you know, overcompensate the fact that my my chest is is lacking the ability to finish the reps. So I'm kind of cheating the last few reps. Cheating the last few reps is fine, but you want to try to keep your arms as, as straight as possible and not use your shoulders and biceps so much to do the exercise. Uh, next up, this is my dumbbell shoulder press. You know, I've showed you this one before. This one's going to be from a couple different angles, um, but you know, just like uh, you know, just like starting at the starting at the cable flies before every exercise from here on out is uh, is just considered accessory an accessory movement. And on these uh, dumbbell shoulder presses, uh, like I said before, uh, this is another one where I'm going to try to do uh, at least three at least three sets, so somewhere around three sets. Really, no more no more than four or five sets, but. I aim for three sets with eight to ten reps until that weight gets too easy to move, you know, for just ten reps. At that point, I will increase, uh, I will maintain that rep range, but I'll increase the amount of resistance or amount of weight that I'm, uh, that I'm doing in that exercise. And, you know, something else you'll notice as I'm approaching my last few reps, you'll start noticing my arms kind of get a little uneven. You know, that's just a sign that, um, that's just a sign that my muscles are starting to wear out and I'm, uh, and I'm reaching the end of, that exercise set. So next up is we got these skull crushers. You guys have seen these before. I'm showing these at a different angle to hopefully show you guys like the depth that I fall to um, whenever I put the ball bar back behind my head, as well as showing you guys the mobility of my upper and lower arms throughout the movement. And uh, the, just like the others, this is another uh, three sets for eight to ten reps apiece. 
So next up, we're going to have uh, one arm tricep pushdowns. Remember I said before that I like to isolate the arms. Um, I like to isolate the arms. That way I can tell if there's any kind of muscular imbalance or strength imbalance between the two arms. Um, what, this is a good exercise, you know, to, uh, you know, to kind of burn out the tricep, especially after doing a heavy, heavy, something like skull crushers or a dip or something like that. Uh, but it's something that you will notice here is on, whenever I do my left, my form is a little bit off just for filming purposes. I, I, I stayed, you know, I, I stayed to where you guys could see my arm, but in most cases, what you need to do is, um, face the cable that way you, you don't have to use so much of your shoulder uh, to push the weight down uh, now I'm into my rear delt flies and I've, I've showed you uh, I've showed you guys these before really self-explanatory uh, with you know three sets of eight to ten reps a piece um, I lowered the weight this time around because I noticed the last time I was there I was swinging too much with my body so I lowered the weight back down so I can get a, some better proper form with the exercise now we have our lateral raises. Uh, I actually, I bumped up the weight this time, so you can kind of notice I'm swinging a little bit more on my body, and I'm probably using a little bit too much rear delt and, uh, and, my, and my rhomboid muscles back in the back for this. So my next time around, I'll probably lower the weight back down, but I did want to try to see what I could do you know, with, with a little bit heavier weight on each side. Uh, but you know, form and uh, form and proper execution of the exercise far outweighs you know the amount of the amount of weight that you can lift. So uh, there's that there's right there three sets, eight to ten reps a piece. Now I'm into my barbell curls, and I showed you these these before with uh, you know with that crossbar across my across my lower chest. But something I didn't show you before, and you'll notice that I'm using a very narrow grip on this first set. Uh, something I didn't didn't mention before. It's always important to try to mix up your grips between uh, between a narrow grip and then a wide grip that you'll see in these last couple of sets that I do. Mixing up your grip allows you to hit the inside head of your bicep and the outside head of your bicep, so you get a better overall uh, development of the bicep muscle for size and strength without you know without causing any kind of Im imbalances by only utilizing one angle on the on the curl three sets eight to ten reps next up here is my superman curls these are one of my favorites and of course now i'm doing both arms at the same time but each arm has its own isolated weight that way i can tell which arm you know may be weaker may need may need a little better development but this is one of my favorite exercises you know for one just because of the way it looks but two you can really feel a good contraction on your bicep if you're doing it properly and try to keep your uh try to keep your elbows you know, lined up with your shoulders and your arms perpendicular to your body. Uh, you can really get a good stretch on the bicep. You can really get a good pull on the bicep. Uh, but this is one that I generally try to do three sets of eight to ten reps. You know, utilizing the the you know idea of progressive overload, like I've said before. And finally, just like with my other workout, is I'm going to finish out the the finish out the workout for the night with shrugs. Now this time I'm using barbell shrugs. Um, you know, just, just like with other, uh, with other exercises, I want to use different kinds, you know, different grips and different angles on the exercise. So here I'm using shrugs, I'm using these shrugs on the barbell instead of dumbbells, you know, so I can hit different angles of the trap muscles. But this is one that actually I'm going to do high reps. So three sets. All right, guys. 15. So there it is. My workout A. Uh, the gym is empty. It's kind of late at night on a Friday, so I don't expect too many people to be here, especially in a small town like this. This late at night. But anyway, uh, that's it. That's workout A. So, uh, you know, tell me what you think. Leave, leave some, uh, you know, stuff in the comments if you got questions or suggestions or anything like that. Make sure to click that thumbs up button right down there. Give me a subscribe. I still love that out of breath. Share this video with your friends, and uh, I guess maybe next time I will take you guys through one of my cardio and uh, and core workouts, and then uh, you guys will pretty much have all, you know have all the tools that I use at my disposal. And uh, I think uh, one I'm one thing I'm thinking about doing is doing a uh, a video on the supplements I take, which is only three. You know, I, I really limit my supplements to those that actually you know have proven you know, tried and true uh, benefits to them. 
And uh, I may go ahead and do a video series on all these exercises I do, breaking down each one, do a separate video for each one, breaking down, you know, a proper form, what parts of the muscles and stuff like that, that they work out. So you just stay tuned for more content, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.